Good morning. <laughs> Happy Sunday. I'm absolutely buzzing to meet you all on the mat today. I hope that you've had a really nice weekend. Cheers to um to each of you. Make sure you grab um a hot drink, cold drink, just something to have throughout the session and and we'll have a really lovely stretch today. Oh, love seeing you guys log in. Absolutely dreamy. Um so yeah, it'd be wonderful. So make sure you've got something cozy. You've got all your creature comforts. That's what makes being home so awesome. If you can open the windows if there's one in your room, get that light shining in um and just enjoy a bit of time out for you. So yeah, I can't wait. We're gonna do just a just a full body stretch, a good uh, wholesome class, a little flow, um, and we're gonna work a little bit with the focus on the core, and just a little bit of um, dynamic movement to kind of build towards our side plank. Um, so side plank will be an option today. That's a challenging pose. So you don't have to take side plank, but if it does feel like it's in your practice today, then that's kind of where we're going to work a little bit towards, but you can equally take side plank on the knee. So that'll all make sense as we move through. Um, but yeah, something just to kind of work towards, um, or maybe it's there today. All right, getting onto your backs, that lovely cozy Shavasana start. Oh, just taking some time to drop in. I just want you to relax the shoulders, draw the chin down and find that lovely cozy, that sweet spot um, on the mat. And hopefully the mat's starting to feel a little bit like um, a really nice safe space. I, I kind of come on my mat and sometimes I feel like the mat represents this like big hug um, for me. It, it's time out, it's breath, it's space, um, it's being with community. Um, yeah, so just just kind of soak up the feeling of lying on your back, that beginning pose. We always or most often start in the, the same position in my class, just because I like to have that little bit of, oh, this feels good, that that feeling of, of consistency. All right, we'll get a little bit of music going for us and just begin to close the eyes if you haven't already. Breathing in nice and slow. And slowly, slowly exhale. Just begin again a nice slow inhalation. And slowly, slowly exhale. Breathing in. And slowly exhale. And as you begin to just connect with the breath a little bit, check in, lovely moment of the week to say, how, how are you? Asking yourself, you know, how are things with you today? And it doesn't matter, you know, whether there's something really heavy going on around you or, you know, maybe it feels like nothing at all. We, we're all entitled to feel um, that little blah. You know, so if there is a sense of like anything that's just not feeling good, whether you can name it or not, we just set a little intention today to let go of any of the negative thoughts, negative energy around you, breathing in. Then exhale, just begin by letting a little bit go. We'll do that again. Nice deep breath in through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Inhale, breathing in that positivity. Exhale, let it go. Lovely. Softening in the forehead, relaxing the eyelids, allowing yourself to sink into that almost sleep-like state where you kind of began your day. Check in, are there any headaches? How are you feeling in your motivation? If it's low, well done for getting on the mat today. Whatever it is, just feel it, own it, know it, and just be with it, sit with it through the class and move and flow through it. Relax the shoulders down, softening and sinking. Relaxing the shoulders to the elbows, really trace in your mind's eye that space, the elbows to the wrist, and allow yourself to soften and sink, breathing in. And slowly breathing out. Well done. All right. So from your backs, just continue 
to relax down. Taking this moment. And today I just wanted to kind of talk to you about the power of positive phrases or affirmations. We're just gonna work a little bit with that today. I just want you to say yourself, say to yourself this morning, you know, I I am calm. Something small in the midst of the chaos, even if you just say over and over, I am calm. And I and kind. All of you definitely have that beautiful quality. I am strong. I am beautiful. I am enough, just as I am. In this body, in this breath, in this movement, in this moment, tell yourself, remind yourself that you are enough just the way you are. Breathing in and breathing out. Starting our Sunday with a lovely drop of positivity. If the legs are extended, I'll invite you just to bend both knees and bring the feet in. Lovely. We're going to wiggle those heels a little closer towards the tailbone. Bring the palms down. Push them down into the mat. We're going to take a little bit of a back bend. So squeeze in the glutes, lift the pelvis and push the hands into the mat. Just draw the chin in and get a little bit of a stretch of the neck here. Take it slow. Just trying to wake up the body and feel where the spine is today. Slowly coming down. Connection feel every vertebrae. As always, at any point in the class, you want to keep the eyes closed, please do so. Inhale and slowly exhale, squeezing in the glutes. Begin to lift again, maybe a little bit higher. Draw it in. The pelvis towards the ceiling, that lower back, middle back, maybe a little bit of the upper back, getting that little neck stretch. How are you feeling? Three. Breathing in and out, two. And then one, slowly come down again, really slow. Connect with the body, feel the spine connect with the ear. Inhale. Exhale through the mouth for me. Lovely. Breathing in, squeezing the glutes, lifting up. See how that feels. You can push a little higher, maybe. Option to lift the heels up if you like to get a little bit more dynamism, but only if that feels good to you. Chin towards the chest. Lovely job. Three, three, two, and one. Slowly coming down with the heels and bring the body back to the floor. Starting to feel that body waking up a little bit. Notice where you're feeling that stretch today. Inhale. And again, exhale. And you've got it. Beautiful. One last one. We're going to sweep and lift with the option to interlace the fingers underneath. Maybe wiggle the shoulder blades in. We take the stretch out high. It feels good to you. So again, with options, you can come down or you can work to lift the heels a little bit and drop them down. Just trying to fire up the legs a little bit, waking up the whole body here. Four, nice work. For three, for two, three, and for one, lift, and drop it down. You've got it, let's unravel those shoulders. Ah, beautiful, bring the spine down. We enjoy that sensation, that connection. And when you're ready, little counter pose. We're going to bring both knees in. Lovely job. You can have the knees together or apart, whatever feels good. Feel the kind of need to take them apart today. Get a little bit of work in the hips. But if you like to keep them close together, either one. Get that little rock in the lower back. Little massage. How are you feeling? Three. For two. Center one. Beautiful. Bringing it back to center. Slowly coming to stillness. Beautiful. Squeeze the knees in and bring both feet down on for the mat. Beautiful. Drop the palms down alongside the body. I'm going to draw the right knee in. And then we're going to switch and we're going to tap the toes. So we're going to switch and switch. As you do that, we're going to fire up the core. Getting a little bit of focus on some core work today. We're going to kind of connect that lower back into the mat. You can tap the toe on the top of the knee if you want to play with it a little bit. And this can be as slow or quick as you like. Just a little bit of wake up there for four. 
Nice work. For three. For two, nice slow deep breaths. And last one, one. We both need then you've got it. Love little squeeze, draw the nose in towards the knees. You can start to feel that lovely little back. Push the spine into the floor. Big squeeze, three. Do one, that lovely hug. Welcome for meeting yourself today on the mat. And slowly drop it down. So Absolutely two. lovely work. Good. Let's fire up that core. We're going to bring the feet up. What I want to invite you to do is push that lower back into the mat. So we don't want any, any room here. We want to really push. It almost feels like you're lifting the pelvis slightly. You're kind of lifting the tailbone. You've got it. So that should feel like that core is firing. Now, if this is enough, you're welcome to stay with the knees down. I'm going to build on it. I'm bring the palms down onto the mat. I sometimes feel like that's a little bit nice little stability for us. Throw the chin in towards the chest. Again, find that connection with the floor. I'm going to tap one toe and draw it up. Good. Switch, tap, and draw it up. Good. Tap, and draw it up. Beautiful. See if you can keep that connection with the lower back. You'll feel the core firing up. If at any point it feels too much, you know the drill. Just bring the feet to the floor. Take a few deep breaths and join us when you want. Ready? Five. At your own pace. Four, but try and keep this connection. Definitely change the dynamism of the stretch. Two. <laughs> and one. Drawing it in. Good. Give yourself a little hug and squeeze the nose in. Oh, give oh, it a good squeeze. Squeeze the shoulders up towards the ears. Even three. Push that lower back to the floor. Two. And one. Slowly bring it down. And bring the feet onto the mat. And you've got it. Inhale, reach the arms up towards the ceiling. And we're going to arch the back so that you do have that little bit of space under there. You feel like you can get that little gummy bear underneath. Lovely long stretch. Beautiful. Good job. Inhale. And slowly exhale. And beautiful. Let's come back to it. Bring the heads back down. Let's drop and push the lower back into the floor again. Feel the activation of the core. Nice work. We're going to lift both knees up and find that lovely push. So that ah, uh, kind of drawing down. We tuck that rib in. We push the lower back into the floor. There's that power. Option to stay here. You bring the hands down alongside the body. Good. If you want to do our tap, we can do our taps again. So one and draw it in. Good. Keep that connection with the floor. Breathing in. And breathing out. Two. You've got it. Three. And it counts back up to eight. Four. Breathing in. And breathing out. Five. You've got it. Let's fire up that core. Feel that heat. You've got it. Six. Seven. Breathing in, breathing out. Last one on each side, making it eight. Good, option to hold here. Again, notice if you've lost that connection, push that lower back in, feel a little bit of fire, maybe extend the leg and the knees and bring them down onto the mat. You've got it, reach it up towards the ceiling, maybe alongside the ears if you've got that range of motion. Otherwise, take the arch in the spine. The hands can be here as well if that feels too much. Reach in, love a little stretch for three. For two, well done guys. And one, bringing it down and tuck that tailbone under again. Beautiful. All right, so I've got two options for you. If the core is feeling not so strong, the lower back's a little tight today. Option one is to lift, and I want you to tap again. Option two is to lift, push the lower back into the mat, and we do both legs at the same time. It's like you're moving the toes through cement, slow. And we can either bring the feet on the ground, take a rest, or you can tap the toe and lift it up, All right? So I'll show you that again. Option one is to lift and see if it feels okay just to bring the foot down and up, keeping this connection. Or option two is both legs, right? All right, let's bring the feet to the ground. We're gonna take a nice inhale, exhale through the mouth and then choose what feels good. Inhale and exhale. 
You got it. Find that lovely connection. Push that lower back into the floor. Fire up that core and lift the knees. You got it. Ready? Either dropping one foot or slowly bringing both feet. Feel like you're moving them through cement. You can push the hands into the floor and then slowly lift it up. Definitely once I need to rebuild since having my babies. Slowly moving through that cement. Feel that love a little bit. Fire in the core. Working to keep that connection with the lower back. And draw it up. Good. I'm gonna count down for four. If you're tapping one toe, then the other, absolutely fine. You can bring the foot to the mat and take a little break if you want. Three, you've got it, everybody. Nice job. Breathing in and breathing out. Last one. Drawing it down. Take your time. And squeeze both knees in, nose to knee. Squeeze the shoulders up and out. Give yourself a really good squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And bring it all down to the mat. Nice work. Wiggle those feet a little wider and take that lovely reset in the lower back knees towards the right. We drop them to the center and over towards the left. Good. Light kind of windscreen wipers. Drop them down and lift. Oh, that should feel a nice little release for you. Lovely stretch in the lower back, seeing where the hips are. Option to take the hands up over the head as well if you like. That might feel like a nice long stretch for you. Three. For two. Nice work. And finishing whatever side feels good, let it stay. If the arms still feel okay above, stretch them along. If not, just bring them down. You can rest them anywhere that feels comfortable. Everyone breathe to the belly for us. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Breathing and let's lift the knees up and drop them to the other side. Oh, it's feeling good today. Breathing in. And exhale. Staying for another breath here. Inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. Relax the face, slowly bring the knees back to center, wiggle the feet so that they're in line with the hips and reach the hands up towards the ceiling and down. Really nice work. Good job. We're going to do just a little bit more core work from here. Come up to our tabletop position. All right, again, a little work, a little fire and connection here with the center of the body. That's kind of our, our focus today, but whole body stretch as we go. We're working towards a little bit of a side plank in a bit. So we'll all come together. We're going to reach the palms together. All right, reach them up towards the ceiling. Inhale, you can draw them up as far as feels comfortable. And exhale, we're going to lift. We're going to push the lower back into the mat. And the crunch isn't about how high you can crunch the neck. It's about lifting the chest and feeling that connection with the lower back. Good, inhale, bring the hands up. Swoop them wide and we're gonna bring them on the outside of the knees and lift. Good, feel like you're lifting in the chest, try and relax the neck. Inhale, swoop the hands together. They can be above the body or over the head. Inhale and exhale, squeeze and reach between the knees. Good, inhale over the head. Exhale, swoop them round. <laughs> nice work, little smile. Inhale over the head. Exhale between the knees. Love a little fire. Let's go. As quick or slow as you like. Inhale. I'll count you down for eight. Your own pace. Your practice. Seven. Let go of the ego. Six. Five. You've got this. Wherever you want to go with it, break or keep going. Four, breathe. Three, you've got it. Relax the face, the jaw, the forehead. <laughs> Two, nice little fire. And last one, reaching. And back up over the head. You've got it slowly. Let's bring the hands up above the body wherever you are. Good. We're going to interlace those fingers and roll those wrists. Allow the forearms to just draw 
down one another, feeling that lovely stretch in the wrist. Three, breathing in two, and you want to even separate the hands, but you into a lovely twist. Those circles going, feeling good on this Sunday morning. Two, and one. Beautiful job, guys. All right, we're going to walk the feet together and we'll roll the body over towards the right hand side. Just take a little breath in the fetal position. And an exhale. <laughs> Beautiful. Coming all the way up to a nice upright seated position. You've got it. Grab a drink if you've got it. Take any little adjustments. Feel it a little warm right now. Beautiful. Well done. Cheers. <laughs> I'm going to drop the right hand down when you're ready. If cross-legged feels uncomfortable, you can do this from a chair or you can sit in whatever way feels good and comfortable. So you can have both legs to the side, one leg out, whatever feels good. As long as you're working down a nice tall spine for me, that's where we, where we need to be. All right, we're going to draw the right hand down. We've done this before, but again, reaching to the side, we need a lovely side stretch in order to build towards our side plank. So let's put our right hand down, we're reaching over towards the right hand side and we wanna push down in that left hip. Inhale, draw the elbow down. Now I like to integrate the neck. I like to draw the head towards the elbow and as we extend the other side, drawing it in and reach. Breathing in and out. Good, where is this releasing tension for you? Where are you feeling it? Try and again, push down in the left hip as you reach over towards the right hand side, feeling the stretch all the way down that left side body. Three, at your own pace, two. And the last one, maybe reaching over and holding. Now, if the shoulders are creeping up like mine, you draw them down. Let's see if you can get a little extra depth in this stretch. Push down in that hip and feel that side stretch. Shoulder draws down. So you've got the option here, relax the forehead. If you want to open the chest more, draw the thumb back, that elbow and that chest open a little bit more towards the ceiling. Don't have to take it, but it's there for the offering. Three, two, heart open, ready to receive all that positivity. That's our little, little nugget today, a little golden nugget. Coming back to those positive phrases, trying to remind yourself of all those things that are true. Reach the arms wide and draw them down. Good, we're gonna rotate the shoulders to so bring the hands onto the knees or forward and rotate them up and back. Good. Oh, clickety clicks for me. Good, take them big and slow. Inhale and exhale. Letting that stress and tension in the shoulders, feeling it, moving with it. Trying to tell it to go oh, down. <laughs> oh. You got it. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Nice one. Three. Make a little smile in there. Two. And last one. Big circle. And drop it down. Good, you've got it. This time, left hand drop. Inhale, reach up with the right. You've got it. Inhale. I'm going to take that lovely little side stretch so you can bend the left elbow. But the real push here is pushing that right hip down as we reach. Good. It doesn't have to be far. And draw it down. A little bend in the elbow. Maybe integrate the neck if you like. We're bringing that ear towards the shoulder. Good. Nice work, find your flow, relax the face, and allow the stretch to work for you and your body. Where do you feel it? Where does it feel good? You wanna go slower, quicker, stay somewhere, listen, wherever your body wants that stretch, take it. For four, breathing in nice and slow. Three, absolutely beautiful work. Two, and last one with the option, you can either stay upright or reach and hold. Again, drop both shoulders down, feel that line. 
the option to open a little more in the chest. We draw the thumb back. We open by drawing that elbow and the arm out and the chest lifts towards the ceiling. Maybe feel long in that neck. Option to look up only to feel the okay. chest for three, for two, and one. Inhale, coming back to center, a little reach and all the way back up. Then we're gonna bring both arms wide, drop the shoulders down. See if the back is arching forward or the chest is arching out, we're gonna inhale, try and draw in from the core and tuck that floating rib in to get that length in the spine. You've got it. The palms facing down, see how that feels. For some of us that might feel like quite the stretch already. We're gonna flip the palms up, see how that feels. Rotate the thumbs back and then let the back arch here if you can. Chest lifts, option to lift up, relax that forehead. Inhale, and as we exhale, we wanna draw in from your core. We're gonna rotate the thumbs down and keep rotating the thumbs down and down, down, away, away, away until the shoulders rotate forward. The hands are rotating up and maybe draw the whole body forward. Chin draws in. Lovely stretch across that upper body. Good, nice stretch for Ready for that lovely side plank where you have to balance for a little bit. Using that upper body strength. Inhale, lifting it up. You've got it, lovely, draw the shoulders down, heart open. Let that light in, inhale. And as we exhale, draw it down, palms come down, thumbs rotate, shoulders rotate forward and let the back arch with it. Draw the chin in towards the chest and feel that length. You've got it, three, chin to chest, two, and one, slowly lift it up, good. We're gonna bring the hands into fists, just rotate those wrists like we did earlier, rotating all the way forward. We don't to take them up. Good, stretching that upper body a little bit more today, coming down. We're gonna rotate it out one last time. Feel the upper body working a little and coming forward. You've got it, last bit up to the top of the sky. Keep rotating, three, Two and one back to center and drop the arms down. Good. A few little shoulder rolls here, letting those little niggles out. Notice if you feel any lighter at all. Who knows? <laughs> A little bit of release in that upper body. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to come forward. Um, it'd be helpful, I think, if you've got the mat long ways and actually you're facing it forward. This way you can come onto the knees and the movement, well, it depends on your room. The movement's going to look like this. So it's up to you. All right. So we're going to eventually come to this sort of position. So wherever it feels good to you, actually, this might be fine where there's no one else in the class to just go where you are. All right. So coming on to all fours for me to start. I'm going to start with the knee hip distance. Just gonna take one last lovely stretch in the upper body. So we're gonna inhale, reach it up, come up onto the knees. And then exhale, hinge up the hips, reach forward like you're doing a sun salutation. Good. We're gonna take the tailbone down towards our child pose and then walk the hands over as far as you can towards the right hand side. Good. When you get to the right hand side, let that chest drop down and you should feel a really nice stretch all in and across that left hand side, breathing in. And slowly exhale, relax the head on the arms. If it feels too strong, just come back more towards the center, all right? Otherwise, breathe, use the stretch to get that lovely release all into the armpit, the lower back on that left side. And you've got to inhale, lift. You're gonna walk the hands forward, maybe cross them, cross them, cross them. Careful of your hot drink if it's there. And then coming as far as feels comfortable towards the left. And then when you feel comfortable, let the chest drop down, resting it on the knees or forward and let the head find a comfy spot. And then we use the breath to deepen the stretch. Inhale, breathing into the right side ribs. Inhale. And slowly exhale. You've got it. Breathing in. And breathing out, releasing tension in the body. Just inviting nothing but positivity. So funny, isn't it? When I think of positivity, I just have like this color yellow flood my thoughts or 
you know, a childlike sunshine image that we've been drawing since, you know, we could first pick up a crayon. Inhale and exhale, just finding that little bit of joy and positivity as we release any tension, walking the heads back to the center. You've got it slowly lifting up onto all fours. Good. We're going to walk the hands in towards the knees and lift up. Beautiful. All right. So from here, we're going to take a little extension. Left leg, if it feels comfortable, you can come onto all fours and extend the leg, or you can just from an upright position, kick it out. You're going to have the left toes extending towards the front of the mat. Nice work. Now again, listen to your body here. You don't have to go when we do, we're gonna do some side stretches here. If it feels okay to go to the floor, you can. If not, just take the side stretch from the, the hip. So this is good, or we can reach down just to show you and just see how that feels to you, all right? So we're gonna start with hands on the hips. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, we're gonna drop the shoulders down. Good, draw in from your core for me and tuck the tailbone under. So we don't want the, the bottom sticking out. We want to tuck the tailbone under and squeeze in the glutes here. Drawing in strong from your core. Good. Inhale, we're going to reach out with that left hand. Option to bring it onto the hip or see if you can reach forward and slowly bring the fingertips, the hand or the fist down towards the mat. Taking a lovely long stretch here in the body, reaching wide. Drop the shoulders down and feel that extension. Good. Inhale. And exhale. Good option to stay here, or you can draw the thumb back like we did earlier, opening the chest slightly. Maybe point the toe out. It's a little variation of our wild thing. New way to kind of explore it. Three, two, and one. Slowly bring the foot back down. Bring the chest out, faces forward again. Inhale, using the core in that top hand, reaching it up. Push it into the palms, the fists, the fingertips coming back up and bring the hands down. Good. We're gonna rest that left hand on the leg, no, never pushing on the knee, but just reach towards the left ankle. Again, option to have the right hand on the hip, or we can reach it up towards that side. Just again, getting that lovely stretch in the side body and focusing on the core here as we do it. Inhale, slowly coming back up. Bring the hands wide, exhale, drop the shoulders down reaching over either hands on the hip and up or reaching and bringing the palms fingertips or come to a fist reaching over draw that hand up draw the shoulders down maybe reach the thumb back slightly to get that little bit more openness you can point the toe if you want on the left leg three two drop the head back if you like and one when you're ready slowly rotate the chest back forward Inhale, using your core, bring that top hand up, maybe the fingertips up and use the core to come back up. Nice work. Inhale and exhale, hand down. Good, never push the hand into the knee, reaching toward that ankle or just keeping it here. You can have the hand on the hip or reach over. Nice work, everyone. Three, drop the shoulders down, two, and one. Beautiful, inhale, coming back up. Hands nice and wide, reach it up. And then we're gonna worry, lean forward like we're coming into a tabletop position. Good, love a little stretch here in that inner thigh. We're gonna sink back as far as feels comfortable. Imagine you're going down to a child's pose. So sink the tailbone down, you're gonna feel that in that inner thigh. The second you feel it, just stay and breathe. Inhale, we're gonna rock forward with the, the pelvis. So lean forward here. And exhale, sinking back, drawing in from your core, feeling that lovely stretch. If you're quite open, you're welcome to sink down. Untuck the toes and sink down onto the heels. So I'm, I'm all the way down. You don't have to be there, but if that's where the body feels okay, go there. Inhale, lifting it up. Nice work. Draw the pelvis forward and exhale, sinking back down. One more time, feeling the stretch wherever you need to feel it. Little fold for three. For two, for one. Inhale, coming back up slowly. You've got it. We're going to walk the hands back to center, coming back to a nice tall position. Good. Now we're going to take the left foot. We're going to turn the toes so that they face the, sh the shorter edge of the mat if you're in the same direction as me. So my toes are here. I'm opening the knee out, finding that lovely opening in the hips. 
You've got it. I want you to imagine we're going to do like a warrior two from the knee. Inhale, the arms come up. And exhale, look forward towards that left knee. Try to line up the middle fingers. You've got it. Draw it in from the core, breathing in. And exhale, little sink into that front knee. Feeling that lovely little stretch and openness. Trying to drive that knee more towards the baby toe by rotating into that hip, squeezing in the glutes. Beautiful, everybody. Inhale, straighten. And exhale, sink. Option to bend the elbow and drop it down. Bring the top hand up or onto the hips. Sinking a little deeper here. You also have the option to take it a little further. You want to bring the, the fingertips, the fists, the palms, sink a little deeper into that knee. The final option is to reach that top hand forward, almost alongside the ear, feeling long. Sink into that front knee for three, for two. Relax the forehead and one really nice stretch drawing in from the core. Inhale, straighten, stretch it out. Beautiful work, hands onto the hips. Good. Just a little bend and then you wiggle that knee in and bring it back down so that both knees are here. Nice work. We're going to take some circles with the hips. So draw the pelvis forward, rotate and sink it back. Nice work. Feel that little stretch. We worked into the hips. Rotate it back. Well done. At your own pace. So for three, for two, and for one. See if you can take check of which way you rotated. Maybe do the other side next time. When you kind of finish your last one, come up to a nice tall position. You've got it. Inhale and exhale. Drop the shoulders down. Again, we want to extend this time the right leg. So for some of us, we can just lift up. Others, we might need to lean forward just to kick it out. Whatever feels best, there's no rules. The toes draw forward, and then we inhale, coming up to a nice tall position. You've got it. Inhale. And exhale, draw in from your core. Drop the shoulders down. Good. Reaching out, breathing in. And exhale, we're reaching up. Good. So we've got the option here, reaching with that left hand. You can either bring the hand to the hip and reach over, or we can reach as far as possible, bringing the fingertips, the palm, or a fist down. If you're here, push into the hand, feel long in that arm. You've got it. Drop the shoulders down. We're just going to breathe here for three, two, and one. You've got the option to draw the thumb out and away if you like to open that chest. Maybe point that toe, left or right leg extends if you wanted. Three, two, and one. Inhale, use the core, come back, bring the chest to face forward. Use the core, maybe bring the fingertips and come all the way back up. You've got it. We're going to drop the hands down. Beautiful. Let's, again, never put pressure on that knee. We're going to reach slowly. Even if it's slightly, you can have the hand on the hip or option to reach up and over. Good, really nice stretch here in the side body. Drop the shoulders down, three healthy one. For four, for three, for two, and for one. Inhale, slowly coming back up. And exhale, either hand on the hip and we lift, or we reach as far as we can, bring the palm, fingertips, or the fist down, reaching low. Whatever feels good. Again, try not to scrunch those shoulders up. Reaching long, long in the neck. Feel like I'm pulling from the top of the head. You've got it, an option to open the chest up. For three, relax the face. For two, and for one. Inhale, coming back to center, reaching it back up. You've got it. Good, hand down. You know where we're headed. Either hands on to the hip. Or you reach it up, drop the shoulders down for three, for two, for one. Inhale, coming back up. We're going to swoop the arms up towards the ceiling and exhale, come down as if you're coming into a tabletop position. So we want the shoulders in line with the wrists. You've got it. And you want the toes facing forward on that right leg. Inhale, we sink back like we're moving into a child's pose. Take it slow, just feel what the hamstring wants to do. Go with the flow here. If it's open, sink a little further, it's up to you. Inhale, lean forward. 
Draw the pelvis forward, draw in from the core, and exhale, sink down. Relax the forehead. You've got it. Inhale, sink forward with the pelvis. And exhale, option to hold wherever you want to be for four, for three, for two, and for one. Relax the forehead, inhale, coming back up. You've got it, we're gonna walk the hands in, use the core to lift ourselves up, hand onto the hip. Let's turn the toes and open the hip on the right hand side. And we're going to take a lovely little warrior two from the knee. Inhale, reach the arms out. And exhale, drop the shoulders down. Again, drawing in from the core. We're going to look forward between that front middle finger. Line them up. Inhale. When you're ready, squeeze. We tuck the tailbone under. We draw in from the core and we sink. We get that lovely openness in the hip. Feeling strong. Inhale, straighten. And exhale, sink. Nice little work there. Inhale, straighten. Again, drawing in from the core. This time, option to take that lovely side angle if you want. You can stay here. You can bend the elbow and rest. Or you can sink a little deeper. Stay lifted. Or the other option is to slowly see if you can bring the palm down. We keep the chest opening, drawing the left shoulder back and sinking down. Again, see how that feels. Option to lift up if you want. Sink in three, two, quite strong in the hips. And one, inhale, straighten, slowly coming back up and bring the hands down onto the hips. You've got it. Let's bend that knee, begin to wiggle the foot in and slowly come back onto the knees. You've got it. I don't know if you remember which side you circled. Don't worry if not. So wiggle the other way and really sink down. Draw the pelvis forward. See if you can almost sit down when you take that rotation. You get a lovely little release in the hips for four. You've got it. Lovely little smile for three. For two. And for one. You've got it, guys. Beautiful. All right, from here, we're gonna come down onto the hands, come onto all fours, tuck those toes, begin to lift up into your first downward dog of the day, knees bent. You've got to walk those heels, feel that lovely little bit of stretch. We've done some work, not loads in the hamstrings, work the tailbone away, drop the shoulders down, relax the head, shake it left to right if you need to. Up and down, three, two, and one. Good, we're gonna look forward between the thumbs, lean forward, step, or if you're in a puppy mood, bend and hop, and then come forward, draw down over the toes. Halfway lift, wherever it needs to be, so lower or higher. Inhale, exhale, bend those knees, bring the arms wide, big reach towards the ceiling. And palms to heart center. You've got it. Good work. Grab a quick drink, a little shake out. We're going to take our flow and build into our side plank today. See how it feels. We can do it from the knee. Or we can do it and lift up. I'll show you where, when we get there. Hmm. Cheers. All right. So let's build it into our sun salutations. A little bit of power and then we'll drop into a beautiful Shavasana. Last section of the class, a little bit of heat, a little bit of warmth. When you're ready, feet hip distance. We'll begin in a lovely Tadasana pose. Inhale, roll the shoulders up. Exhale, drop them back. Good. If the tailbone's tucking again, remember we draw in from the core. This is what we want, this long, strong center. That's what we want when we're moving into our, our side planks as well. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, hinge at the hips, work the tailbone away. There's the hamstrings again, bend down. Either bend the knees or keep them a little straighter today if you're working on that hamstring stretch. 
Inhale, find your halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, scoop up all that positivity you're reaching out. And hands, heart center, good. Inhale, exhale through the mouth. So let's go again, reaching up, scoop it up. Exhale, fold down over the toes. Halfway lift. Exhale, bend those knees, scoop up all that light. All together, hands to heart. Next one, we step back into our plank. Inhale, exhale through the mouth. Inhale, let's reach up. Relax the forehead, little smile, forward, forward, fold forward, so we can coming down. Halfway lift. Let's bend those knees, bring the hands forward, shift the weight there and step back into a high plank. If the plank feels too much, come to the knees. Okay, push the heels away from you. Push it into the hands. Feel strong in your core here. Good. If you want to play with it, you can drop the heels over towards the right hand side and back to center and drop and back to center. If you're on your knees, you can turn and just shift the weight side to side. Ready? For three. For two. And finishing whatever side you're on, use your core. Coming down onto the knees if you're not already there. Everybody center, slowly bring the pelvis to the floor and coming down. Well done. Rotate the shoulders up and back, lifting in the chest, push the hands into the mat, taking a little baby cobra. Inhale. Oh, and exhale. You've got it. Using your core, the toes, the hands, inhale, lift up, draw in. And see if you can lift up onto the toes and shift the weight back into your downward dog. You can go from cat as well. Bring the hands nice and wide and walk those heels. Draw in from your core. Feel the length for three. Well done for two. For one, let's look forward between the thumbs. We're gonna step or hop. So come up to the tops of the toes. Take a big step forward and then meet with the hands or hop. And bring the hands to me. I definitely need to get my little hops and floats back into a little more gentle space. But hey, work in progress, always we are. Inhale, halfway lift. Bend the knees deep and scoop up all that lovely light. Exhale, hands to heart center. Nice flow, really good start. Inhale, exhale through the mouth. Lovely. Let's take it the next one. So before you go there, I just want you to watch the screen. When we come into plank, I'm going to give you an option. So just watch. If you've not done side plank before, what we're going to do is we're going to drop the heels to one side. And what you have is the option to use the core and lift up with the other hand. It also could look just as good if we swing the foot and we lift up like this. You could even lift one leg. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk you through whichever pose you want and we'll build. And if you wanna lift up, you can lift up on the third. Is everybody cool? And then the last one, your choice. Just gives everybody an option and all of us to feel out the process. All right, so hopefully come back up to, I don't know if you're watching from here or you came down and tried it, but we're gonna come and use and use that core. And what we're gonna try and do is tuck again. It's tucking under, feeling strong in the pose, and we're lifting up, trying to push that hip out. It'll all kind of make sense. Everything we've done today is kind of built towards it. Wherever you are is good, all right? No judgment on yourself, being good to yourself. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, fold forward, down over the toes. Halfway lift. Good, bend the knees, step or hop back to a high plank. Good job. All right, so if you wanna stay from plank, stay here and just dip the heels towards the right hand side and maybe begin to see if you can peel that left hand up. If you're lifting in the hip, you can also stack the feet if you wanna play with it. If you come down to the knees, swing the right foot back, extend the left leg and reach up. That's it, maybe lift the leg. Wherever you are, hold for three, for two, for one. 
If your hand is lifted, you're in the high plank, come back. Everybody come down to the knees. Inhale, lean forward with the pelvis and slowly come down onto your mat. Well done. Inhale, rotate the shoulders up and drop it back. We're lifting up into a little baby cobra. Hopefully the back feels limber, draw the shoulders down, long in the chest, lifted in the head. Smile on your face, doing well. Slowly come down, exhale. Good, peel the body up, so push into the hands, use the core, come to tabletop, maybe find cat, if not, just tuck the toes and lift it up to your downward dog, find your way to move and flow. Breathing in and breathing out, we draw in from your core, you push into the hands and maybe take it a little slower, so you can bend the knees, you can walk the heels, or you can work in stillness here, just no strain in the neck, draw the shoulders down. For three, for two, for one. Inhale, let's step or hop forward. Lovely, drawing the chin down, halfway lift. Exhale, bend, reaching up, big scoop. And hands to heart center. Good, inhale, and exhale through the mouth. You've got it, last one, reaching up. Fold it forward, hinging up the hips, fold down. Halfway lift. Bend, step, or hop back to your high plank. Drop the hips, feel strong in your core. Dropping the heels over towards the left-hand side if that feels okay. Maybe seeing if you can peel the right hand up. Maybe lifting or pushing that hand into the floor, lifting in the hip. Maybe seeing if it's there, feet on top of each other. Good. If that's not there, stay there or work towards it. Otherwise, swing the left foot back, extend the right hand, leg, and just draw the hand down. So it's perfect expression. We kind of did this before. An option here to lift the, hip, the leg if you want. Good. For three. Something hopefully for everyone. For two. And for one. If you're still lifting, everybody slowly rotate back into the plank position, bringing the knees down, slowly draw down in the hips and pelvis and bring the body to the floor. Beautiful job. Inhale, rotate the shoulders up and back. This time we're gonna bend both feet and see if you can squeeze the heels in towards the glutes. Option to reach back. We've done a lot of work in the um, spine, the core, maybe grabbing the toes might feel good on the legs. You can draw the heels in. If anybody wants a really nice back sort of stretch, we draw the Shoulder blades in towards each other. If you've got the feet, push the toes into the hands, lift the chest here a little bit. Maybe push and see if it lifts a little more. Maybe lift the knees, push the belly into the floor, little bow pose. Only if that feels okay for three, two, and one. Slowly bringing it back down. Exhale, you've got it. Bring the legs down onto the floor, bring both hands on either side of the ribs, lifting up and just coming to tabletop. We're gonna slowly sink down into child's pose. Option to have the knees hip distance, or you can take them wide. And get that lovely last little deep stretch in the hips. Relaxing the face, maybe the cheek, the forehead. If you wanna take the forehead side to side, that feels good. You wanna get that little massage in. Take what you need here, breathing in and slowly breathing out. You got it. Inhale, lifting up with the hands wherever you are. Again, option here if your um kind of child's pose feels a lot. And remember, you can have it much more lifted. You can put a bolster or, or a pillow in between the knees. But everybody just to lift up a little bit, reaching up with the right hand. An option to thread through. So you can do this from that wide-legged child's pose, thread through. It could look like this. Or if you're a little bit higher, you could just work with the elbow on the mat. So you can look like this, or you can be all the way down, sink in. See what feels good to you, the shoulders, the body. For three, for two, for one. Inhale, lifting up, maybe switching sides. So again, the tailbone's lifted up a little bit more. You can reach up with the lift, reach through, either come down onto the elbow or reach all the way through. Relax the cheek, the whole lift. 
back of the arm down and feel that lovely little stretch. Sinking a little deeper into the hips. Breathing in and out, softening in the forehead. Close the eyes if you like. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. We're going to use the right hand to push into the floor as our foundation. We'll lift in and bring the palm down. Lift up in that tail and take it slow. Slowly bring the knees forward and swing it to the side. Ah, grab those drinks if you have them close by. We'll come into our last few stretches and a nice shavasana. Well done, everyone. Nice stretch of the side body. A little bit of work in the core. Just trying to build into that side plank position. If you want, you can extend the legs out into a V position. So you can either have them a little bit closer in or a little bit wider whenever you're ready. <laughs> last little stretch here I'm just going to bring the hands down reach towards the left draw the head over and back to center and reach feel like you're kind of dancing good draw the ear to the shoulder use the core nice one just to finish off for four for three For two at your own pace. And for one. Back to center when you're ready. I'm gonna bring the fingertips forward. You're welcome to just stay here nice and lifted if it's quite strong. Second option is to bring the fingertips behind you and just push into the hands, pushing the chest forward. Your third option to finish off is fingertips forward. You can draw the chin in. You can lead with the chest and come down to the elbows and draw the chin down. Or equal, if you're really open, you can reach forward and draw the chest towards the floor. So anywhere that feels good, either lifted or forward folding. Just invite you to relax the head in whichever position that you're choosing. Relax the neck. Close the eyes, begin to close down the body. Really lovely stretch. I mean, areas we haven't targeted in a little while. So, you know, go easy on yourself this week if you feel it in new spots. Three, two, and one. Slowly coming back up to a nice tall position. We'll bring the hands forward. We're gonna use the hands to softly support and bending the knees and bring the feet to a comfortable position. If cross leg is uncomfortable, find that space that you were in earlier on, or you can take yourself to a chair. We're gonna flip the palms up and just take a moment to close the eyes. Join me in two cleansing breaths. Inhale through the nose and out through the mouth. Inhale. And exhale, drop those shoulders down. Breathing in, squeeze the shoulders up. Exhale, drop them down. Just want you to find a moment in stillness and quiet. Eyes closed. Filling our brain, our thoughts, our subconscious mind with a beautiful few affirmations. I am calm. Breathing nice and slowly. I am kind. I am strong. I am enough. 
just as I am in this body, in this moment. No changes, no tweaks necessary. I am enough. Inhale. And slowly exhale, relaxing the shoulders, beginning to choose your place for your Shavasana, whether you begin to slowly melt into the floor, taking any last stretch that you need or staying upright today. It feels good to stay in an upright position. Wherever you want to be, whether it's traditional corpse pose or seated upright, find that place where you feel relaxed and still. When you get there, I invite you just to begin to soften in the forehead. Really imagine all those little creases, the lines, the faces, the thoughts, the worry, the discomfort. I just want you to feel it all just disappear in the forehead. Really focus on that space between the eyebrows, releasing, finding a bit of quiet and calm and peace. Letting the eyelids feel a heavy, the temples. Maybe your last movement of the day is to separate the jaw. If you feel like you need to move it a little side to side, go there. If not, just make sure the jaw is soft. Relaxing the tongue, allowing the back body to melt into the floor. Allow yourself to sink. Asking yourself, how am I? How do you feel in this moment? What do you need to move forward a little lighter, a little brighter today? My small little nugget of Suppose thought today is this, speak positive words into your life every single morning. Think big, think healing, think success, think peace, think happiness, think growth mindset. Always start the day with positive energy. You deserve it. You, just as you are, you are enough. As always, you're welcome to stay on the Zoom a little longer to continue your Shavasana. I'll let it play and close the video down. But wishing you a beautiful week ahead, a lovely day. Thanks for signing in as always. Really, really does feel like I'm with you. Um, so thank you. Peace and love and see some of you on Tuesday. Lots of love.
Thank you. 